Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. We'll start in a minute. Please do register. This is the registrar. Welcome. Thank you. Let me paste it here as well. This is the registrar. Please do register. Okay, let's get started. Let me share. Okay, let's get started. Welcome to our last lecture set for this semester. Great to see you all. Thank you for being here on time. Uh, I'll start with sharing my asset creation journey with you again this semester. Uh, I uploaded this book for you because I know that some of you couldn't have a chance to buy this book. So I uploaded it for you for free. If you go to today's lectures, uh, you will find the this book, Squash book, uh, you can download it there, okay? So you can go to today's lecture and you can download this book. I'll show you the book, uh, but it is also active on Gumroad as well. The second book, remember I uh, am writing another book. I started this last year and it's now almost finished. I finished writing it. Today, I will share the first copy of this book with you, like the first draft of the book, okay? So I'll show you the first draft. Nobody knows this book. You will be the first to witness this book. I'll share you the content. I also uploaded it, again, for free in today's lecture. If you download it, you will see the, all the PDF. It is about 150 pages. It's a monumental uh, book. Uh, 99 different creativity journeys inside. So my goal is to start selling this ebook from Gumroad uh, sometime in June. So we are almost done. We are still designing the book and its cover, but I will show you as it is, okay? So this was my uh, second book. And you can read these adventures on Medium. If you go to these links, you will find the first 33 adventures here. The second 33 adventures are here, and the third 33 adventures are here. As you see, I published all these in May or April, very recently, yeah? And I also published this, 99 pieces of advice, life-changing lessons for creativity. Again, have a look at this, uh, because it summarizes, really summarizes what we covered in this module you know, what we covered in these lectures. So it's a perfect summary. What do you take from this module? What should you remember? All the messages are in this advice, okay? The third book that emerged this semester from this module again is The Cube. Remember this, we covered this in our seminars. I introduced it very recently because I invented it very recently, right? So this will be another book. Uh, hopefully I will write this book this summer or upcoming fall and maybe publish it during fall semester sometime, maybe during September or so, October. So, uh, and the book will include all these six sets of exercises, but I will also sell it as a poster, market it as a stationary product along with the book. So remember the Medium article on this. Uh, the Medium article is here. You can have a read to remember this. And remember the journeys. These, will, these are the journeys. The ocean represents your strengths. The river represents what excites you. The jungle represents your contributions in the outer world. 
The cottage represents your search for the soul, your inner self. The garden is the intersection of these four walls of the cube, right? It is called the garden. Uh, this is your asset creation play, playground. So you establish your game of asset creation in this garden. And the last one is the mountain, which represents your future potential after 10 years. What will you be creating or what will you be achieving in the next 10 years? It represents your own Everest, your own potential. So you uh, put all these into set of exercises. What I'm doing in my notebook is I started creating these pages myself I'm doing the exercises in detail myself in my notebook. You see the ocean page. I started creating my ocean page, etc. cetera. And um, first I will do these exercises in more detail uh, and turn them into another medium article. You can follow it up, okay? And then these will be turned into more detailed exercises, okay? So this is my journey of asset creation. Uh, as you can see, three different books, Squash Book, 99 Adventures, as well as The Cube, uh, all emerged from this module and all emerged from uh, this semester. So uh, I also want you to create your own assets using your imagination and uh, your hard work. It's with a bit of hard work and imagination you can also create your own stories your own content your own assets so let me share with you uh, these ebooks but before we do that let me also share what you need to do on your portfolio remember as it's our last session this semester i won't be teaching you in the summer semester so this is my last chance uh, to meet you guys so uh, let me give you some guidance for the portfolio before we finish. Remember, the deadline is August 25th. August 25th, you submit everything in one Word or PDF file. So put everything in one file. It can be a Word file or a PDF file and submit it through Blackboard. The first part will be your job application. Put your job advertisement, CV, cover letter, and the poster. And then your asset creation project comes. This part is 3,000 words. And then part three is creative challenges. You choose two of them. Two of the creative challenges, attach them. Part four, learning adventures. What are the, sorry, these are, it says top eight. It is not top eight, top ten. The correcting is top 10. Okay, sorry about that. There's a typo there. I'll fix it, hopefully. Uh, the reason that it was eight is last semester, I had to give this module in a condensed version. Okay, they didn't have two semesters. They had only one semester. That's why they had to uh, include only eight, but you have two semesters. You have the whole summer. So you need to come up with at least 10, okay? And the last part, seminars. Seminars. Uh, you will include seven seminar activities, whichever you choose. Okay. Okay. Before I move on to the uh, new things, this is a documentary that I watched uh, in the weekend, and it was a great documentary because it's about uh, new wealth creation in China. This was here. It's a place where people are getting wealthier like never before, where more millionaires and billionaires are being created than anywhere else on earth. That transformation is probably the most rapid and significant, I think, in humankind ever. It will probably come as no surprise that the world's richest and most successful individuals have already discovered this miraculous place. People like Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Bill Gates, George Soros, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Jim Rogers, and more. And the money being made here is incredible. 
I'll share how one man, for example, even found a clever way to turn $200 into a $1 million payday. In my personal opinion, I think this is a once in a many years opportunity. But here's the irony. In this land of vast new riches, money no longer exists in the traditional sense. There's never a line of the few remaining ATM machines. So this is China, already living in the future. No one carries a wallet, and fewer still write checks or carry dollar bills, credit cards, or coins. Instead, there's a radical new type of currency exchange used to pay for everything. I don't need to carry a wallet at all. I mean, literally no cash so at all. So you don't carry any cash? No, no. I can day. live like every day full. No credit so cards? No. no, no. You're about to see this place in person. I'm going to take you there. And as you'll see, in many ways, it's more advanced than anything you're probably familiar with. You'll see stores without employees, buses that drive themselves, facial recognition security, and a string of other new breakthroughs and trends that are light years ahead of where you live. This technology and product hunger is really unparalleled. It's, it's not seen any time, anywhere else in the world and in history. But what really sets this place apart is the money both the money pouring in and the money being made. There is the greatest wealth creation event in the history of the world, frankly, happening right here, right now. Now, to truly understand and take advantage of what's happening here, you really have to see this place for yourself. So I'm about to give you that opportunity as I take you there in person to show you the most misunderstood place in the world and the greatest money-making opportunity of our lifetime. So I'll stop here. You watch it, okay? Uh, if you are curious, you will uh, watch this. It is about business, technology, and the future in China being created as of now. So you'll be including seven seminar activities, right? Uh, you can choose any of these. Employable skills, evidence table, flower exercise. You can choose one of these, whichever. You can design a hat or a shoe. You can design a cafe. You can do benchmarking table. You can create a canvas, business model canvas, or uh, the other uh, employability, per personal, personal canvas. And then you can choose one of these five, or two of these five. Six hats, Balbin, birthday challenges, 16 personalities, and why a strength survey. So you can choose one or two of these. And then we did the cube, remember, this is a new activity that I introduced to you. Uh, if you missed these seminars, you can find them in the recordings, yeah? And then asset creation worksheet toolkit. Uh, again, this is in your recordings, if you missed this. Um, remember, I showed you how I did it for myself in the Word document, yeah? So you can do something similar for your own asset creation. So please make sure you work on all these five sections, okay? Job application, asset creation, two creative adventures, and then top 10 things you learned and changed. Top 10 things you learned, plus top 10 things you changed, and then seven activities, whichever you choose. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me. Okay. And you can send me your whole draft, but do it uh, before uh, the start of summer semester, because I'll be traveling a lot in summer. So if you can finish your portfolio early on, please send it to me, and then I can give you feedback. If you have particular questions, you can ask me, okay? I can help you. Remember, in your asset creation project, you need to share this. Implement it, share it with the world. So make sure you implement this. Okay? And this is a checklist. Make sure you include all these elements. And remember these checklists. Do you reflect on your strengths, passion, uh, clear voice, originality, personal brand? Uh, are they rigorous, well prepared? And are there exciting things? Is it clear of cliches? 
Does it differentiate position you in the job market? Is there a wow factor? Is there creativity, innovation? Is there evidence of brainstorming, generative thinking? Have you built a strong personal brand? Would you invest in yourself? Is it really um, impressive, outstanding what you did? And would this portfolio still capture attention among, let's say, 100 other proposals if you applied for jobs? Would you still capture attention among 100 others? And have you learned amazing things? Let's say if you were a startup company, would you invest in this company and why? So ask yourself these questions. Did you demonstrate extra initiative, go beyond the obvious? Is there education, aesthetics, escapism, entertainment? Okay, so please apply these. Is there evidence of asset creation for the long term? Just not, not just for this grade, for this grading, you know, but for your own life. So do you go beyond the grade requirements and are you really investing in your career, in your future? And do you share your work with the world with all your courage, honesty, vulnerability? That's very important. Are you able to open yourself, your heart and share it to the world? So please uh, make sure you finish this, okay? all these components and make sure you focus on your asset creation and do this for yourself as we suggested grow the art you want to see start the business you want to buy from play the music you want to hear write the book you want to read build the product you want to use that's as simple as that and do these 15 things uh, in your asset creation journey and remember the power of compounding and assets. If you invest in yourself for the long term, your assets will grow exponentially. If you invest $1 every day, after 30 years, this $1 will get to 4,000. This is due to the power of mathematics and investment. The same, if you get 1% better every day, that means in one year, you will be 38 times almost, 38 times better. Why is this so? It's due to the power of mathematics, right? Because you are compounding it 365 times, over and over and over and over. And each time the pie gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah? That's why it is exponential. That's why the rich get richer. And that's why the poor get poorer. So why does the poor get poorer? Let's say you are 1% worse every day. After one year, you are going to zero. The same with your personal habits. If you don't improve yourself, if you go a little bit worse every day, after one year, you are going to zero. You will lose everything. You will lose all your good habits. So you need to be alert, active, positive entrepreneurial, creative every day okay? and establish a game which will allow you to get better every day. Yeah. And you really need to think long term. OK, I uh, wrote these new articles I want you to, to share with you. The first one is the gold rush. Uh, the magic you ingredient uh, in the metaverse that you need is imagination. Please make sure you check this out. This is the article that I have written. And you can check this. So click on the link to see. But there is a golden rush. Remember, we covered this in our class. And uh, why do you need curiosity, imagination? The article explains that. And then the exercise that we did in the class. And then some implications. What should you do to go forward? Yeah. So make sure you check it out. Another article that I have written is this one. This is based on our seminar. Remember our seminar? So this is based on the seminar that, so please click on the link that I shared with you here. Click on the link 
and you will see that this is our seminar activity that we did. It is just a bit more detailed. Okay. Remember the 15 critical questions? We did this in the seminar, and this is our seminar. I uploaded the seminar video here as well, if you missed it. Okay, so you can watch this. And uh, my sample answers, I uploaded them here as well. So you can see my sample answers here as well. Okay, so that you can uh, create your own journey on this. So you can see all the sample activities. I also uploaded Ali Abdal's videos. How does he create different income streams? He makes 27,000 per week. He has nine passive income streams. How does he do that? He made almost $5 million in one year. How did he do that? You can watch his adventures, okay? So I pulled, uh, included them as well. So make sure you read this article. Check out the link, okay? The third one, I recently wrote an article on 43 enchanting movies. 43 enchanting movies. Let me share this one as well. This is the link. If you click on the link, this is the link. If you click on the link, then uh, you will see these 43 movies. These are the movies that changed my life. Uh, so these are the movies. Let's have a look. So this is based on my 43 challenges for this year, right? I'm 43. I did this challenge myself. It is one of these. So these are my favorite movies. Being John Malkovich, each trailer is there. Okay. Big Fish, I Heart Huckabees, Birdman, if you haven't watched these, Inception, Memento, Cloud Atlas, Groundhog Day, Interstellar, Arrival, Ready Player One, Wally, -E, Primer, Blade Runner, Seven Samurai, The Prestige, Inside Out, Back to the Future. Some of them are classics, 12 Angry Men, Parasite, Usual Suspects. These are all classics, right? But some of them are less known. District 9, for example, AI, Shawshank Redemption, Her, Star Wars, Avatar, Dune, all the Matrix, E.T., all these movies, yeah? So if you love movies and imagination, these are some of the best movies out there. So make sure you, if you haven't watched these, like make sure you read them, uh, watch them whenever you have a chance. And I summarize each movie's message in a, one sentence, in one sentence, one inspirational message from each movie. You can read them as well, okay? So these movies will help you a lot in expanding your mind. Uh, another article that I have written recently is this one. I watched 55 remarkable documentaries. Again, I want to share the link with you. Please click on this link as well. I have recently written this just last weekend, I think. If you click on this link, you will see again the trailers of these 55 remarkable documentaries. This is the link of the article. Normally, I should have included 43 documentaries, right? But I got carried away. So I didn't want to cut it to 43. Uh, uh, so I ended up including 55, all 55 of them. Okay. And uh, like I could find even more because I love a lot of docu uh, watching. I love watching documentaries, and there, there, there is a, a lot out there. So these are my favorite documentaries. Have you watched them? If you haven't, you can again consider. Promises. This is amazing. Up, Thirteenth, Knock Down the House. I am Greta. Inside Bill's Brain. Elon Musk. Vivian Meyer. Bill Cunningham. Jiro. Chef's Table. March of the Penguins, Chasing Coral, Honeyland, We Are Not Princesses, For Summer, Wild Wild Country, The Cove. Some of these are on Netflix, by the way. Uh, An Inconvenient Sequel, Ice on Fire, Climate Change Movies, yeah? Before the Flood, David Attenborough, Our Planet, 2040. This is about creating the future. 
some of the classics, Baraka, my octopus teacher, I love this one. Social Dilemma, Great Hack, Crime of the Century. This woman, uh, I mean, it is such a big scandal. Icarus, the corporation, it's a must, you must see this. Enron, American Factory, Sea Piracy, Our Father, this is disgusting, by the way. Three Identical Strangers, Human Flow, Gun Addiction, Bowling for Columbine, The Artist is Present, you remember this one, Abstract, Won't You Be My Neighbor, Miss Americana, Alien Words, AlphaGo, New Money, I shared with you, yeah? Money Deluge, Food, some documentaries about food. Food, Fed Up, Sugar Film, Light Bulb Conspiracy, Conspiracy, this is the classic. The Act of Killing, this is a terrible one, but uh, yeah, and The Shock Doctor. So uh, have a look. I mean, if you haven't watched this, some of these are truly dark, shocking but I must warn you, okay? If you are an optimist, these, some of these documentaries are extremely dark and you will question humanity, you will question the future, everything. So, I completed another challenge of, you know, 43 movies, yeah? And remember, if you haven't watched this, why you need to watch Undercover Billionaire. If you haven't watched this, please watch this as well. Here is the link again of the article. It's a, uh, it's a great, it's a great film uh, and reality show. You'll learn so much. Okay, let me share with you uh, my books now. How oh, can I pull this off? Yeah, maybe this one. Start with this one. This is the squash book. So I uploaded this. You can find this. Okay. I uploaded this. Um, if I can, the squash book, this one. Yeah. So uh, I uploaded the whole book. You can. Yeah, find all the exercises and the whole book here. All the contents are here. There are three parts, learn it, create it, squash it. Uh, so Barish designed the book, I wrote the book, and you can see uh, the story of the squash, how we created this. And then remember the lecture, the squash lecture, what we did in that lecture, I reviewed them, some of the ideas, and then we draw some figures of the squash. And how can you use creativity using a squash? So here are the exercises, learn it. These are some of the exercises, lesson one, exercise one, like all are from my notebooks, squash exercises. Yeah, so there are, I think, 28 exercises like this. What can you do with a squash? Created part two is created. You will create new things with the squash. Squash build linkages, squash and other fields, let's say. So it's all about creativity, as you can see. And then the squash matrix. You will build ideas, matrix, Squash and hairbrush, squash and star, squash and umbrella, etc. All of, of these are about creativity again. So you'll think like an inventor. You'll apply scamper methods, substitute, combine, adapt, maximize, put to other use, eliminate, rearrange. Yeah. And you do all these activities. This is a Turkish dish recipe. Um, from squash, etc. All these things, yeah. So it's a fun book. Uh, have a look. Okay. So it's a fun little book that uh, I had a lot of fun creating this. 
the other book, I'll share that one as well with you. Let me download that one. This is, again, I, I uploaded this in the 99 Adventures. This is in your lecture files today, okay? So you can find this in your lecture files. Let me open this. So this is the book, okay? You can download this. I'll show you. And as we go over the book, I want you to open your notebook and try to do some little exercises from this book, okay? Let's do it. Open your notebook, use your pencil, and I want you to choose one small exercise from each chapter, okay? You will see the book. I'll skim through all the exercises. We will, it will be a super fast tour, okay? We don't have much time, so I'll be super quick. So go over, let's go over the journeys. And whichever journey you like, I want you to choose um, one of the journeys from each chapter, okay? Let's go over each chapter, and I want you to choose one journey, and then in one minute, create some ideas on it, okay? What would you do about this journey? Which, or choose which one you like best from each chapter, okay? So let me share it here as well. This is the book, okay? And I, uh, you can find the, this file. It is on your Blackboard. Go to today's lectures, download this, okay? So you are the first people who will see this. Nobody has seen this, okay? The first chapter is about journey of superheroes. So you will imagine, and as you see, this is the superhero figure. You can fly like Superman, let's say. That's the first exercise. The second one, you can use telekinesis, manipulating objects with your mind. Imagine that. This is like Stranger Things, or I'm not okay with this kind of thing. The third one, you can execute any physical action that you see using adaptive muscle memory. The fourth one, you are a shape shifter. Imagine. The fifth one, imagine that you can speak 12 languages. The sixth one, imagine that you have Google's superpower of sensing locations of others. Seventh one, you imagine you can pass through walls. Eighth one, imagine you have a perfect memory. Ninth one, imagine you can digest anything without any side effects. And the tenth one, you don't need, imagine you don't need any sleep, drink, or food to survive. And eleventh one, you can turn yourself into water. Twelfth one, you can survive extreme heat. So which one did you like best? You want to go once more, choose one of them. Superman, flying, telekinesis. You can execute any physical action. We said shapeshifter, 12 languages. Which one do you want? Choose one of them, write it. And create some ideas. Sensing locations of others, passing through walls. Which one do you want, really, if you were a superhero, let's say? Perfect memory. Digesting anything, not needing sleep, drink water, food. And you can turn yourself into water. You can survive heat. Which one did you like best? Choose the one that you like best and create some ideas on it. Like, what if you had this superpower? What would you do with that? And, you know, you can do these exercises, whichever you choose, just do these exercises. Uh, like, try to do them maybe 10 minutes every day. If you do one of these 10 minutes every day, in just 10 minutes, after three months, you will have finished all of these, right? 
this summer, let's say, you do uh, in 10 minutes every day, just a different adventure, yeah? You, you can allocate just 10 minutes to it, not more. 10 minutes, uh, buy a new notebook for this, and then write down your adventures, and it will be just 10 minutes of unlimited imagination, which is great, and have fun writing it. This will expand your mind and expand your imagination. So do this. Okay, let's go to the second chapter. Again, I want you to choose one of these. Which will you choose? Journeys of the future is the second chapter, okay? Let's go. You visit a parallel universe, let's say. That's the first one. The second one, you live in a starship. The third one, you can teleport yourself and in travel through computer games. The fourth one, you are offered a free holiday to the moon. The fifth one, you see a strange light in the night sky. Create a scenario. The sixth one, you encounter aliens. What happens next? The seventh one, you can move at the speed of light. What happens? The eighth one, you, you have gone beyond the solar system. Where are you? The ninth one, you meet yourself from coming from a parallel universe. Tenth one, you are falling into a black hole. This is a bit scary. And it is so long. I don't know why I made it so long. It's a black hole, really. And then the eleventh one, you have landed on Mars. Twelfth one, this is actually supposed to be 42nd one. You know 42? The, the answer to the ultimate question of life, universe, and everything. I published this as the 42nd installment on Medium. But here in the book, it's not 42nd, unfortunately. Maybe I'll change it. Yeah, which one do you like best? So these are journeys of the future. Which one do you like best? Again, take a note. Okay, shall we move on? The third one, would you like to see chapter three quickly? Let's move on to chapter three. Chapter three is journeys of technology. Okay. Of course, we will revise these. Uh, it, I mean, this is just draft 12, 12 draft, yeah? Probably before we create the book, it will be about 20, 25 drafts, yeah? So like it's an iteration every day. Yeah, so let's look at this one. You are living with robots. That's the first one. Imagine you are living with robots. The second one, imagine you are living in the age of singularity. Nobody talks about this, but this is one of the most important things that will face us, singularity. Singularity, non-human agents will upgrade themselves and enter a never-ending, accelerating self-improvement cycle. And they will be much smarter than humans. We call this intelligence explosion. What happens then? The next one, you can observe what goes on in your body. The next one, you work and live in the metaverse. The next one, you travel to the year 2800. The next one, you are imagine you are living in a simulation. Imagine you are living until 2000 years old. Imagine you can freeze your body. Suspended animation, yeah? Imagine you can clone yourself. There are multiple versions of you. How do you man manage that? Imagine you can use telepathy. So you can read the minds of others. Imagine you can manipulate weather. Imagine you can use teleportation. Travel instantly. Yeah, so these are the journeys 
of technology. Okay. Let's go with journey chapter four. Chapter four is all about journeys of fantasy. So we uh, put all the fantasy tours in this one. This was great fun. Teleportation, we said this one. No, not this teleportation actually. The title is wrong here, chocolate. So the correct title is chocolate is made illegal. That's the one. So I should change this. So as you see, there are like mistakes with that we need to fix. Uh, you are completely alone in this world. I am legend movie, yeah? Imagine you own a historical building at the heart of Manhattan. Imagine you are a monster. What next? Imagine you can store things in another dimension like Mary Poppins. Imagine you receive a surprise package today. It is sent to you by your future self. That's very exciting. You open the box, your future self sent it to you. What is in there? Imagine you can invite three of your favorite people to dinner. Who are they? And you imagine that dinner. Imagine you can stop time right now. What happens? What would you do? Imagine you can travel to the past. Where would you travel in history? Imagine you wake up one day as your opposite sex. So these are the journeys of fantasy, okay? Are you ready? I'm continuing on to journey five, chapter five. Journeys of success. These are all about journeys of success. Imagine you could actualize yourself. Imagine you use your full capacity, 10x, full capacity of your brain. What happens? Imagine you can build your content empire, make 20,000 pounds at least. Imagine you can transform yourself completely. Imagine you can make 1,000 pounds in 24 hours. How do you do that? Imagine you are a worldwide YouTube celebrity. Imagine you will write or you will die. That's a radical one. There is even a website for this actually, write or die. Uh, if you don't try, it automatically deletes your writing. Writing. It's a terrible website. I hate it. Imagine your one hour is 500 pounds. This is an amazing exercise, by the way. If you imagine your one hour is 500 pounds, then you are forced to create enormous value in one hour. How can you do that? If you can pull that off, you can one day increase your one hour to 500 or more. Yeah. So these are like extremely valuable exercises to be successful. Imagine you can change careers every year. Imagine you have one million ideas trapped inside you. So your job is to share them with the world every day. Every day, try to create 50 ideas and share them. Imagine your workday is just two hours. That's very powerful. If you imagine that your workday is just two hours, then you have to finish everything in two hours. You have to be super smart, super productive. And that's so useful, especially you are at work. You know. Imagine the same thing for your you know, projects, for your masters. Imagine you have only two hours at most. Okay. Imagine you have gone viral in just 24 hours. Imagine you can adapt 10 times better, 10 times faster. Imagine you own five luxury cars. Imagine you are a prolific writer and you write many books. Okay, so these are the journeys of success. Shall we move on to chapter six? These are journeys of life. 
These are about the life cycle. Imagine you can go back 20 years in time. 20 years, go back in time. Imagine you have multiple personalities within yourself. Imagine you could return to your childhood. Imagine you could retire today. What would you do? Imagine you have just one year left to live. How would you spend your life, your one year? Imagine you can regain your youth. Imagine you could trade lives with anyone for just one week. Okay, so journey seven, the next one. We are finishing it almost. Journeys of nature. Imagine you meet your spirit guide under the ocean. Imagine you live in the desert. Imagine you can breathe underwater. Imagine you are out in the ocean at night. Okay, not much. I mean, this is a short chapter. <laughs> Maybe I should eliminate it, do you think? I mean, there, there are too few chapters there. Maybe I should combine it with other sections, yeah? Chapter eight, journeys of spirituality. Imagine you have seen after life. Imagine you can design, manipulate dreams of others. That's creepy. Imagine you are ostracized by your society. Imagine you have a guardian angel. You can talk to that angel. Imagine you can talk to dead people. Imagine you can see an object's entire history when you touch it. Imagine you can resurrect any dead person. That's very scary. Imagine you can read minds of others. Imagine you encounter your nemesis. Imagine you can literally curse people. Imagine you can see the future when you touch a person, the future of that person. Imagine you will be dead in 10 years. Imagine you attend an ayahuasca retreat in Peru. So these are the journeys of spirituality. And the last chapter is journeys of invention. So you'll think like an inventor in the last chapter. Imagine you are a relentless serial inventor. I included lots of exercises and links here. You can check these out. I, uh, I don't think the links are working yet. Uh, if you want to find these links, find the original, Google the original article, okay? You can Google the original article on Medium, then you can click on the links, okay? Just Google this title. You are a relentless serial inventor, you will find the article on Medium, okay? Imagine you set a Guinness World Record. Imagine you create your own Netflix show. Remember we did this. Imagine you could write many books. Imagine you can invent and build anything that you desire. Imagine you can create reality by writing it in your notebook. I love this. Imagine you can create write without fear. Imagine you have $1 million. Imagine you have the magical power to create one change in the world. These are the ones, okay? So this is the book. What do you think? Do you think this is a good book? Would you read this, implement this in your life? Would it sell? <laughs> do you think it, no, <laughs> it would sell? <laughs> Not many people would buy this, right? It's all luxury. 
<laughs> but, you know, if you are into imagination, then I think it might not be luxury. I mean, everybody will need imagination. Think long term. Think about the long term. You'll, you are going into the metaverse. And all these mundane tasks will be outsourced to robots, algorithms, machines. What are you left with? You are left with your imagination. Think about that. Like, sorry? Yeah, I mean, think about it like for the long term. So I don't want to sell it like next month. You see? Exactly. Like, I mean, it was challenging to write it as well. <laughs> Honestly, it took me a lot of time to write this. And yeah, hopefully it will be out in uh, June or something like that. Yeah. So uh, you'll see. Follow us. Follow us. Okay. I'll share what will happen on Medium. Okay. So let me stop sharing. Okay. So let's come back to the lecture. I included some slides. Uh, I read this Michael O'Leary, A Life in Full Flight. Michael O'Leary is Ryanair's CEO. If you like read his story, you'll learn a lot about Ryanair. I discovered Radio Garden. This is a radio station with a map. You click on it and listen to radios immediately. So um, I wa uh, watched this TED talk. He creates micro sculptures, very small sculptures. I included a section, you can go over this at home, about the rise of China, the rise of the East. So. Just a few words about this. The economic center of gravity is shifting back to east for the first time uh, in this century. The world powers are shifting to the east. What are the implications? So there is a book on this. Peter Frankopan wrote this, uh, wrote this book, The New Silk Road. The New Silk Road. So in an age of Brexit and Trump, Western powers are isolated, fragmented, whereas Eastern powers are rising and collaborating. So this book is about that. China's biggest project of this century, what is it called? One Belt, One Road project. It is the biggest infrastructure project of this century. So China is trying to revitalize Silk Road connections. And you can read more about this, the new Silk Roads and China's Asian dream. Over 80 countries are part of this initiative. 63% of the world population is part of this project. Reviving the Silk Road. And you can click on the link to learn more. Extremely ambitious, 900 billion project. Today, the lion has woken up, China leader says, but it is peaceful, pleasant, and civilized. So China and the world inside the dynamics of a changing relationship is a new world power rising as the new leader. What are the implications? Is this a map of the future, one says. This is the Chinese map, yeah? The center is China, as you can see. So, Peter Frankopan says, decisions made today are not being made in London, Paris, Berlin, Rome, as they were in 100 years ago. They are made in Beijing, Moscow, Tehran, Riyadh, Delhi, Islamabad, Kabul, Afghanistan, Ankara, Damascus, Jerusalem. That's the new world, he says. So if you look at 
top 10 cities, top cities, global contributing to the most global GDP in 2030. As you can see, the majority of them are Chinese cities, not American cities. So we have New York uh, in number one, 874 billion, yeah. Number two is Shanghai. And then we have Tian, uh, Beijing, Shenzhen, all the other Chinese cities. And London is number eight, as you can see. And there are only two uh, US regions, Los Angeles and New York, that's it. Whereas China has seven different regions, as you can see. So if we look at the GDPs and economic growth, in 2050, these are the expected growth rates. By the, this is by the economist. As you can see, major Western powers are all in decline, whereas China is number one, number two is India, number three is US, and then we have Brazil and Japan and Russia, Mexico, Indonesia, and Germany, and UK. And then we have uh, France, Turkey, Nigeria, Vietnam, new powers, totally new powers, yeah? Okay, so uh, there are more slides. Have a look at these. Different styles of learning. Wright Brothers, it's all about fun, having fun. Yes theory. The Lynchpin Manifesto, this is a great book. If you become a linchpin, you become indispensable. So in your career, you need to move from being a cog into a being a linchpin. So if you can transform yourself into a linchpin, then everybody will hire you. That's your challenge, okay? You need to transform yourself into a linchpin. I want you to have a look at this transition. Are you there? Have a look in the next one minute. Do you need to take any action? So becoming a linchpin is all about becoming indispensable. So you need to think like an artist. You need to build your personal brand. You need to be remarkable. You need to stand out from the competition. You need to express yourself. You need to share your story. You need to make it happen. You need to be, think like an entrepreneur. You need to act like an entrepreneur, take some risk, be vulnerable, but also share yourself with the world. Contribute all of you, 100% of you in whatever you do. Okay. And this is the manifesto. I'm an artist. I take initiative. I do the work, not the job. I'm a linchpin. I'm not easily replaced. Every interaction is an opportunity to make a connection. The past is gone. So I need to do smart work, right? How do I do smart work? This is your mindset on how you do that. I'm always moving. I don't care about credit. I care about change. I am surprising. I donate energy risk to the cause. I turn charisma into leadership. Work matters. Go make something happen. So this is the new mindset that you need to be successful. Another book, I uh, love this book, Made to Stick book. There are messages here. There are six principles. Let's say you want to give a message to the world, okay? You want to give a message that re resonates with people. How do you do that? The formula is called success. Your message should be simple. So you need to prioritize, not dumb down. You need useful analogies, yeah? The first principle is it should be simple. Your message should be simple. Your message should be unexpected. Why? Because attention, attention is very difficult. So 
come up with something unexpected. Okay, the third principle, come up with something concrete. There should be something sensory in your messages. Very concrete, concrete idea. Make it concrete. The fourth principle, your message should be credible. You need to use details, statistics. You need to use your expertise. You need to show your expertise. And you, your message, the next principle, fifth principle, your message needs to be emotional, emotional, instead of just analytical. You need to engage people, persuade people. So how do you do that? Again, read the examples. Give them benefits. Appeal to their identities. and make people associate themselves with your message. Okay. Then you catch emotionality. And you need to share stories. That's almost the most important one. This is the last principle. Uh, it's all about your experiences. You share your own stories that connect with your audiences or readers. Okay, so. You, how do you do that? You create some challenges or connections or some creativity, problem solving. Okay. So if you really want to capture virality, attention, make sure that you stick to these principles. Your message should be simple, unexpected, concrete, credible, emotional, and story-based. Okay. So... I summarized the whole book to you in just one minute. <laughs> but you need to read the whole book to see the examples, okay? So make sure you read the book if you are interested. Okay, these are again from another book. Stop trying to be perfect. Pain is not bad. Pain is a tool. You are not special. Greatness is not an entitlement. It is hard work. Suffer purposefully. You can't avoid suffering. Take radical responsibility. Be okay with rejections. Contemplate your own death. Fail forward and embrace uncertainty. So these are like all difficult principles. Difficult because you like it's not easy to apply these. But if you apply these, then you will achieve outstanding success in your life. Okay, so we are coming towards the end of today. Uh, the next exercise is a very simple one. I want you to think about an A4 paper. The first part is the following. I want you to think of as many uses as possible for an A4 paper. How many uses can you think? In your notebook, please come up with a list. What can you do with an A4 paper? Your goal is to find at least 20 different uses. You can transform this A4 paper, okay? Imagine that you have an A4 paper, okay? Let's say 20 of them, 20 A4 papers. I didn't bring in papers because I want to save the environment, okay? But in your imagination, use those papers, okay? Use those papers. Imagine that you have 20 different A4 papers with you, okay? 20 different A4 papers. How would you transform them? How would you create value? So think of at least 20 different uses. For example, you can just fold it, turn it into an envelope, right? This is one use. What else? Find 20 different uses. Okay? You can write po poems on it. That will be poetry. Yeah? That will be just poetry. Another A4. You can turn it into an artwork, doing some drawing, sketching, pictures, right? What else? Origami. Origami, of course. You can fold it. 
uh, create origami. Play with it, definitely. Maybe you can create some paper sculptures, right? Paper is very flexible. You can mold it, shape it, transform it. You can cut it, right? For example, let me tell you a story. When I was about four years old, it is one of my earliest child memories, actually. I was a very little kid, and my grandfather took a set of scissors and folded the paper like this, okay, and then cut these random shapes and then opened it and i was like really young i was just four years old and then opened it for me and then he's he made da da it is like magic right oh my god i was like this was something that nourished my creativity like it has been 40 years right almost 40 years but i still cannot forget that surprise that sense of surprise Oh my God, he created something unique, just folding the paper, cutting it is so simple, yet you're so profound. It taught me about the significance of creativity, surprise, you know. It's all about creating surprises, something unexpected to your brain. So how can you create surprises from your A4 paper? Think about that, create ideas, write them down in your notebook. Your goal is to find as many ideas as you can. How can you create surprises, experiences? Find out different functions, functionalities. For example, you can make it like a cone, right? It is like a cone and you can put your nuts in it. It is your nut cone, yeah? So what else? Like think about like different functions like this. You can turn it into notebook, right? A small notebook, very small notebook. Uh, you can cut the pages and then bind them together. It will be your small pocket notebook. Yeah. You can create a pocket notebook out of it. What else? Please create ideas. Spoon. Yeah. Just folding it and Exactly, and you can turn it into a necklace, definitely. Very nice. You can cut it, shape it, transform it, turn it into something else, yeah? Color it, yeah? You can use different colors. You can turn it into maybe some toolkits, toolkits to help individuals shape their thinking, mental models. What? Of course, basketball, football, you can even invent games, right? A lot of games. You can invent so many games. You know, when we were kids, we were playing lots of paper-based games, SOS, others. Yeah. You can invent games with it. When we were kids, we invented so many of these adventures, remember? Like when you were a kid, you were always inventing new stuff without even thinking. Yet we lost that. So you need to reconnect with your childhood. I want you to reconnect and create new inventions. Think of new inventions. So let's combine it with the next one. I want you to think of as many inventions, products as you can using A4 paper. So your goal is to create value, create some fun. Can you make money? Another question, if you are interested in money, from an A4 paper, how can you make the most money? Think about that. Can you make money? Sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hats, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, definitely. What else? Like, how can you create outstanding value? Something that people will need. You can create like a book summary, one page book summary of the whole book. You can summarize it in just one page, very intense. And that can be a business, right? It can be just, you summarize all the book in just one page. Maybe turn it two pages. And that's an enormous innovation because instead of 
reading the whole book, they can just read your A4 page. And that's the business model. Many businesses make thousands of dollars from these book summaries. Book summaries is a big business, right? So what else? What kind of businesses can you establish based on A4 paper? Please think of some businesses. I want you to come together for this. Uh, maybe think as a group. So come together with your friend. Try to brainstorm together if you can. Can you create some value? Okay. So to help you in your thinking, I brought a lot of chocolates today. So today is our celebration, our last day, yeah, for the semester. So please uh, have some chocolates. This will help you think better, hopefully come up with better ideas. I couldn't open it. Could you help me? So please, yeah, help me share these, okay? And let me give this, and you can share, help share, yeah. And help me open it, will you? Open, open it, share it, share it with one another. Let's create some fun, joyful moments. Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't open it, but you can pull that off, hopefully. So you can also uh, look at this article. I have written an article here. You can also check out that article, okay? This is the article. So this is the article. This is the article, A4. You can read this article as well. So you'll try to create as many ideas as you can. Okay, what else? What else can you create? Can you create some business ideas again from A4? Can you come up with some business ideas? For example, you can create a cartoon business. Just draw cartoons on A4. It can be a cartoon business. Or you can create a comics business. You can create A4 based comics. Or you can create a story business. Story, you can write stories. But these stories should fit on just A4. Yeah. Or you can create a creative writing experience, a workshop, where everybody will come with an A4 paper and their goal is to create a story on that paper. Or maybe you can turn this into a creativity workshop. You can uh, give participants A4 papers and they will come up with all these crazy ideas, inventions, innovations. Yeah. What else? Cool. Excellent. What else? Nice. Very nice, very nice. Great ideas. You can do a lot of decorative craft work, right? Craft kind of work, products. Creating, capturing meaningful experiences, for example. Let's say, how can you capture your day visually onto one A4 page? You can create a training out of this. Let's say, I'm teaching you how to capture your day visually through cartoons or comics or concept maps. 
so that when you go back to that, you will remember it as a picture. Think about the power of that. If you can pull that off, that's an amazing power. I would love to take, you know, a training program like this one. What else? Think about other options. You can invent a board game that is based on A4, board game, yeah? You can turn it into card business, a card business, birthday cards, you know, celebration cards, all this card business. What else? Can you solve some problems using A4? Can you solve some problems? You can create puzzles, puzzles, right? For example, let me tell you a puzzle, okay? What if I tell you uh, a question? Can I pass through an A4 paper, my body? Can I pass my body through an A4 paper? Can you think the answer? Yes or no, how? Do you think it's possible? Think about that. Let's think of this as a puzzle. Using an A4 paper, you will create a frame, okay? You'll create a frame using an A4 paper. How do you do that? And you will pass through that. Can you do that? I tried this actually. Okay, so this is, a, I, what I did was, oops, I, I don't know if I can pull this up. I'm dyspraxic, I'm, I'm terrible in these things. But here is the idea, okay? So what you do is, let me put this on a surface that is like this. Sorry, it's very tricky, of course. But what I do is I fold the paper, yeah, A4 paper, and I cut it just like this, okay? I mean, I, I didn't do a good job of this, obviously, but think about, think about this like a frame. I didn't do this correctly, but something like this, yeah? So I put, turn this into a frame, yeah? And I pass my body through it. And I create a magic experience, yeah? You can entertain your niece, nephew, small kid with this, yeah? So like, Turn it into an experience, yeah? It's all about the experience. What else? Think about experiences. Can you do other magic tricks with A4? Think about other magic tricks. Can you turn it into a tool of learning, creativity for kids? How can you teach kids to learn better, open up their minds? You know, there are all these advanced toys. You buy kids all these advanced toys, high-tech tools, etc. And then small kids, they stop playing with the advanced toy. They stop playing with that advanced toy. They just start playing with the box. <laughs> Have you realized that? They love playing with the empty box. Why? Because the empty box holds more promise for imagination. That empty box can be a house, it can be a journey, it can be anything that the child likes. The child can create whatever he or she wants from that box. And that's much more valuable than the, that advanced toy, you know, high-tech to toy. High-tech toys are very structured. The kid engages it for one minute and then easily bored because it's the same thing over and over. Whereas the box, Every time the child plays with the box, he or she can invent new things with that box. It's all about the story, isn't it? You can create a new story with that box each time. Yeah? 
So think about other experiences that transform, you know, an A4 paper into something different. So here are some, yeah, examples we talked about origami, reconnect them, do it yourself project, craft projects, write on it, stories, poems, products, templates, checklists, artworks, sketches, postcards, CV. You can turn it into a CV, right? Imitations. You can combine paper with other things to invent new products. Can you combine it with other things? You can color it, use multiple colors, create a flag, let's say, or a painting. You can create sculptures. You can create value, meaning. For example, celebrity signs it. Or you can turn it into non-fungible token. <laughs> right? So it's all about the meaning, symbol of it. It's all about the story. Or you can turn it into money. You can turn it into money. Money is also paper. And there are more exercises, examples here in the, uh, but like come up with more goals. Can, how can you increase the value of the paper? Can you come up with breakthrough value? I mean, this looks like a very simple exercise, but it's not. Believe me, this is an entrepreneurial exercise. This is an exercise in adventure, innovation, and creativity. Don't say just, ah, oh, it's A4 paper. No, it is life. life. Life is all about what you turn, make of it. You know, some people make, create an experience like this one out of one paper, yeah? It's all about imagination, what you do with it. Okay. So I included some slides on the 50 greatest breakthroughs in history. These are inventions. How can you categorize inventions? Any ideas? Let's say you want to categorize types of inventions. Can you categorize types of inventions in history? Do you have any ideas? I want you to brainstorm. Let's say you want to categorize it. How can you categorize them? You can, based on historical eras, yeah? Maybe based on functions, maybe based on domains, maybe based on industries, what else? Here's a categorization. It, these are, number one, inventions that expand the human intellect and it is creative, expressive possibilities. So these are all about expressing yourself, writing, printing, paper, internet, Computers, technology, photography, all these things, yeah, are together. It's all about language, expressing ourselves. Innovations that are about infrastructure. So these are like the basis, cement, electricity, plumbing, portable water, clean water, sanitation systems, air conditioning, you know, all these things. These are all infrastructure. What else? These are innovations that enable the industrial revolution and material output. So these are the basis of all factories, steam engine, steel making, oil industries, coal industries. Yet we need to overcome this. Like we are stuck here. We need to get out of this now. What else? Innovations extending life. Think of agricultural innovations, nitrogen, green revolution, plant breeding, irrigation. What about medical, medical knowledge, treatment? All these medical innovations that you see. Penicillin, vaccination, pill, uh, germ theory of infectious diseases, genomics, optical lenses, all these things, yeah? Public health measures. Okay. The last part, you can go about it at home, Donut Economics. This is a great book, Seven Ways to Think in New Ways about 
the new economy. You need to think of the economy as a donut. It is limited. We have reached our ecological ceiling. We cannot continue like this. We cannot focus on growth. There is nowhere to grow. We can't grow because we are going over the resources of the earth. So it's a very dangerous territory. If we want to save our future, we need to uh, think of the world economy as a donut. So, pick your paradigm. Pick your paradigm. If you focus on uber capitalism, then this is the end of the world. Uber capitalism, it is all greedy. It's all about competition, profit, GDP growth. It's all about harming the environment. And it is terrible. Yeah, there is an alternative, which is the donut economy. So what's the donut economy? Seven different ways to think about it. Change the goal. It's not GDP. It's the donut. It is all about the holistic way. The big picture will be an embedded economy, not just a market. Instead of rational economic man, we need to be social adaptable humans. Instead of mechanical equilibrium, we need to have dynamic complexity. Instead of growth, we need to have distribution by design. Okay, so it's a great book. Uh, make sure you have a look at it. Another great book is Sapiens, Harari's book. Domesticated animals are miserable. Agriculture is history's biggest fraud. Gossip helped us evolve. Our cooperation is based on shared fictions. Money is a fiction. Humankind will soon disappear. It will turn into something else. These are all powerful new ways of thinking. And Harari combines them all in this book, which is a bit surprising. Yeah, when you read it, like there are very powerful arguments in it. None of the, these arguments are new. These are all known. But he is the only one uh, that brought all these arguments together in an overall narrative, overall story. That's why it's a bestseller. So Harari always comes up with these big ideas, 21 lessons for the 21st century. Again, another book uh, about the future and the challenges that we face. Okay, I'll stop here. Thank you so much. Uh, I included a lot of videos in the end. Some of the documentaries, videos are here. I uploaded them here. You can have a look on them. I also uploaded some creative manifestos. Have a look at them. I'll finish with this guy. Do you know this guy? <laughs> oh my God. We covered this, right? No? He's in London. He was in London. Fish seller, right? For me. <laughs> Go and do your fish song for me. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. One pound fish. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. One pound fish. Very, very cheap, very, very cheap, <laughs> one 
So what happened next? So as you can see, he became a pop star and he was in the top albums. Thank you so much. This is the end of this semester. I'll see you in the seminars this week, okay? Thank you so much. You are great today. Please have the chocolates, share more chocolates, enjoy more chocolates. And, uh, I will see you in our seminars, okay? See you in the seminars. Thank you so much. You were great this semester. Thank you, everyone. So this is the QR code. If you haven't registered, please do register.